Hello, this is Terry Salee, and I teach 7th grade science in Hobbs, New Mexico. Today I want to talk a little bit about bullying. Now, it sounds like a silly word, but it really can be a big issue. And one of the ways it's, number one, I guess I should say, is it needs to be system-wide, a zero tolerance for bullying. There's no put-downs. Um, that has to happen. At a classroom level, one of the things that I do is I have, um, we build a class contract on how we agree to treat each other. And everybody, we do a huge process and they all buy in and we all sign it. So if this is last year's, if they say you want to be nice or kind. You can see that lots of different groups agreed with that. Respect, encouraging. You can go through and see all of the different things. But that's how they agree to treat each other. That means they're going to treat each other that way, but they're going to treat me that way. And then I also have to agree by that. So we signed it, so that's what we're going to do. And a strategy that we use is called a foul. So if somebody doesn't follow the class contract, they just have to say foul. As long as they perceive it, then it's real. And so if a foul is called on you, you don't get mad. You have to say two, instead of saying if you do, or, uh, you have to say two nice things about that person. So if you, if I was foul, if some kid, if I was joking, and I get called foul sometimes, and whether I agree or not, I have to say two positive things about why I like this student. And I teach middle school again, and you would think, I mean, they kind of get a little frustrated, but at, and sometimes they get silly. But over time, it just becomes a part of the culture. And so we know that that isn't tolerated. We, we don't bully other people. Now, serious offenses, obviously, I mean, there's a school policy, and that goes to the administration. But by having a class contract and then always going back to that and again I'm at a previous one I said I always shake hands and say hi to people um, we don't have a lot of problems but being consistent is a key thank you